today I will show you this Guru 360 stabilizer. It was sent by the Al Dali company. They asked me to rebuild it, so I did. I also shot some videos with it, and I will put the link in the description box. I'm going to put the 360 camera on the stabilizer. And I already put this counterweight on because I've shoot with this stabilizer before. Uh, this counterweight, they come with the instruction to tell you how to put it on and it's very easy, you just screw it on. And on the side there is a uh, arrow here, it's pointing up, that means you are uh, going to the right direction, your camera, but if they are pointing but if it's like this, it's pointing down, then you're doing the wrong thing. So it gotta be point, it's gotta be up. This is the thumb screw on the top, and I will put it on it. But first, it needs to be in the center, I think. Otherwise, it will tilt it back and forth, and uh, Seems pretty good, and let's turn it on the let's turn on the power and see. Oh yeah, look. So it is pretty stable, right? So that's the setup. I put the counterweight on, and I turn the thumb screw, uh, and then I hit the power button. I don't need to use uh, any app to control it. It's pretty simple and fast. And now let's talk about the things I like and the things I don't like about it. I will compare, also compare it with my DJI uh, stabilizer. For me, the stick is pretty heavy. I can hold it for like maybe uh, 10 minutes maximum and then I need to take a break and then do it again. Because for a stick like me or a sport person like me, uh, it's a little bit tough, but I mean for anybody, it's easy. This. So what I like to do, I call it the Gandalf mode. You know, you shall not pass. Uh, it's pretty handy for me. I carry it around uh, and it balances very well. I, if I uh, need to shoot in the center of a cloud, I just put it down. And then when you finish, I just uh, put it, take it up. So it is great. They have the tripod hole at the bottom. It is very important for me because look at the DJI one. You can just um, uh, screw on the, uh, the staff. You have to take it with you everywhere. And let me show you the other things I like about the Guru 360 stabilizer. So the head and the stick, they, they are actually separate. You can separate them. You can separate the handle from the head. But the DJI one, it comes with a whole piece and there is no way that you can just, if you're, you're not using it for the 360 camera, if you're using it for the phone or other cameras, you, you cannot just unscrew this and switch to a 360 camera. You have to buy a whole piece uh, just for that function. But the Guru 360 one, if uh, you're going to switch it to your cell phone, you can just unscrew it and put the cell phone hat on. So that is, a, that is also a very big feature. There is another cool thing about this Guru 360 stabilizer. Uh, I use it to shoot um, from different angle, like this. And uh, it's in the description box. It came out really awesome and uh, it's really cool. And I think I will uh, shoot it like this in the future also. And you can just wiggle, wiggle, like, and there is a gyro stick here. You can turn 360. To um, you can turn all the way around. It's pretty cool. Let me tell you about something I don't like very much. You might heard it bend itself a couple of times, and it already got scraped up a little bit uh, because there is no limit on the motor. But the DJI doesn't do that. 
because it doesn't turn all the way around so it won't allow it uh, to bend uh, itself like the Guru 360 and like this, this is banging and on the top banging and it's already got a little bit scraped up everywhere even though I don't like banging and I wish it comes with a case but the video quality is so much better you guys will see uh, in my other link uh, you guys probably will say oh it's because it's free and yeah I got it for free but from the video you can tell the quality is different from my previous video and uh, I didn't use the Xiaomi digital stabilizer uh, I only used the um, uh, Guru 360 and when I export the file I turned both of them off but it still comes out so nice so it's definitely worth the price and if you're really considering buying one please check out the link I put down below and uh, if you buy from my link they will know it comes from me I really appreciate it and thanks a lot for watching